Fans of Grey's Anatomy will tell you that watching Shondaland's long-running series often leads to heartbreak. Very few characters manage to escape the show without meeting a grisly death. But even with plenty of drama on camera, what plays out behind the scenes could give the doctors of Grey Sloan Memorial Hospital a run for their money. More than once, off-screen shenanigans have led to the demise of our favorite characters and pink slips for their actors, just as they were all warned on their first day of residency. Eight of you will switch to an easier specialty. Five of you will crack under the pressure. Two of you will be asked to leave. Here's who got the can thanks to some bad behavior. Isaiah Washington Dr. Preston Burke, played by Isaiah Washington in the original show cast, landed in some hot water in 2007 when he was overheard using a homophobic slur in reference to co-star T.R. Knight. Although Knight has since come out as a gay man, he had not yet done so at the time of the incident. The network decided to make it clear that slurs like that would not be tolerated around the set and fired Washington. The actor later profusely apologized for his statement, saying, I can neither defend nor explain my behavior. I can also no longer deny to myself that there are issues I obviously need to examine within my own soul, and I've asked for help. I know a mere apology will not end this, and I intend to let my future actions prove my sincerity." Washington eventually returned to the show for a brief cameo in season 10 after Shonda Rhimes believed the actor had learned from his mistake. And there is no way I could do something so horrible to another human being then or now. Katherine Heigl After surviving an on-screen battle with skin cancer that spread to her brain, you'd assume Dr. Izzy Stevens was invincible. But Katherine Heigl's career on the show was not. The actress kicked up some drama around set when she decided to withdraw her name from Emmy consideration because she didn't think the writers of the show had given her the kind of material worthy of an award. Needless to say, the showrunner was not pleased with her comments. Yeah, on some, on some level it sung, and on some level I was not surprised. You weren't? No. Okay. When people say who they are, believe them. After that stunt, she lasted two more years before her character was written off. That wasn't cool. Like I should not have said that, and I should have. Shonda just, Rhimes. She yeah. Mean, yeah. And I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have said anything publicly. But at the time, I didn't think anybody would notice. At the time of her exit, Heigl said that she wanted to spend more time with her family. I didn't really want to go, but I felt um, when I became a mother, I just felt like I needed to make her and my husband and our life together as a family the priority. But fans had a feeling there might be more to it than that, including bad blood between the actress and Shonda Rhimes. Heigl made it clear in 2012 that she'd like to wear scrubs again. I think it would just be so wonderful to have the opportunity to to just sort of round out the character. But Rhymes didn't waste time telling TV Guide it wasn't happening, saying, It was really nice to hear her appreciating the show. We are on a track we have been planning, and the idea of changing that track is not something we are interested in right now. Moral of the story? Don't burn a bridge in Shondaland. TR Knight For the first few seasons of Grey's Anatomy, Dr. George O'Malley was one of the most beloved characters. So it came as a shock when 007 was discovered to be the anonymous bus crash victim in season 5. Audiences were heartbroken, but the plotline of actor T.R. Knight's departure proved even more dramatic. According to what Knight told Entertainment Weekly, he decided he wanted to leave the show because he wasn't getting enough screen time, even after he voiced his complaints to the writers, saying, My five-year experience proved to me that I could not trust any answer that was given about O'Malley. And with respect, I'm going to leave it at that. Considering how similar his stinging words were to the ones that got Heigl the boot, it's probably no surprise that Knight didn't even get to show his face before being killed off the show. Patrick Dempsey one of Grey's Anatomy's most shocking and gut-wrenching moments was Dr. Derek Shepard's passing after receiving incompetent medical care at another hospital following a car crash. Actor Patrick Dempsey was one of the show's originals, so it was hard to let McDreamy go after 11 seasons. He may not have had a vote in the matter, however. Sources allege that Dempsey had an affair with a member of the Grey's crew and that those shenanigans were enough to make Rhymes put her foot down and decide that Dempsey's time on the show was done. Perhaps not coincidentally, Dempsey and his wife of 17 years announced a temporary separation right around the same time. For his part, Dempsey didn't actually deny that he and Rhymes had hit an impasse near the end. It was time for us both to be finished, you know. It was That's diplomatic. Well, I, you know, it was, it was, it's hard to keep the creative energy going for 10 years. But Rhymes herself would later peg the decision to kill off her leading beau as a creative one, telling audiences of the 2015 TCA summer tour, Meredith and Derek's love had to remain Meredith and Derek's love. Derek was going to have to die in order for that love to remain honest, because I really couldn't have the idea that he just turned out to be a bad guy who walked out on his wife and kids to be a true story. It felt like that was the only way to make Meredith and Derek's magic remain true and forever frozen in time. But from all these storied firings, it's clear that crossing Shonda Rhimes behind the scenes is the quickest way to get your doctor card promptly revoked, no matter how prominent you might be. Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.